I uh, started my career as a Java, moved on to the Oracle. I was in the Oracle product development team for Oracle Sovasuit. So from there I picked it up uh, nine years back and you know um, uh, that time it was the first version that we were releasing from Oracle side. Like the field, continue. Um, um, uh, so uh, continued with this stuff and you know um, um, so now um, till date I have uh, integrated around about 40 different systems. I know Oracle apps, um, uh, I'm, I, I know PeopleSoft, Siebel, OTM, Demand, so I've integrated everything. So um, I'm giving these trainings from past four years and we have been associated with BISP. We are, uh, you know, um, we give trainings and uh, uh, and these trainings are all more related to the SOA. Uh, so uh, this is about me and with me is Kapil. So Kapil is the coordinator for this training and uh, he is the one who takes care of all your admin things. So, you know, you need, um, you, you, don't, you can't ex come to a class and all that. Anything that is there is taken care of by him. I take off all your technical issues. You are stuck in tutorials, you are, you know, anything that uh, you have a problem with, it's my responsibility to, you know, uh, take you out um, and uh, uh, if you have any questions about technical questions, hey, how to do this, or you know, even from your past experiences, um, uh, you want to ask something, and you know, so it will be me who will be answering this. So let's start off with this. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, Kapil has muted you, uh, so uh, it's not uh, so that you know we don't hear so much voices. Uh, at the end of this uh, class, we will be having a question and answers round. Ask whatever you want to ask, you know, regarding the course content or, you know, what we are going to teach, what not, and, you know, uh, what you are going to gain. Any questions you, uh, you want to ask, please ask us. So, what is our objective for this training is? So, today's our objective will be, we will discuss about what the course objective is, what we are going to achieve from our course. We will talk about what the course agenda is. We will describe in a little bit what service-oriented architecture means. Okay. We will describe what so Oracle provides in for the SOA, and we will talk about the new features of SOA 11G. Sorry for this. So now the question is like uh, you know some people mostly ask who this training is for. So this training is for anybody who has knows a little bit of programming. Even, you know, we get admins, we get ERP functional people, business analysts, BI developers, CRM specialists, integration analysts who have worked on different tools apart from Oracle. Any, but this training is for anybody. We will teach you everything. That's what we teach you for the SOA. Uh, SOA is based on XML and all that. We agree that, you know, uh, you will not be knowing it and it will be we who will take this on us and will teach you. So, uh, so what you will learn uh, after completing this course, okay. First thing that you will learn is what service oriented architecture is and what are their terminology. So, just a brief about service oriented architecture. It's not a proprietary of Oracle. It's a, it's a open framework which is, which has uh, taken a, it's open concept which has been thought of by many companies together and they came up with SOA. So though this training will be uh, concentrated toward more toward the Oracle pro uh, line of suit, but as such SOA is a generic and you can apply all these concepts that you will read to other um, products uh, of the SOA by different vendors like IBM has a SOA, same concepts are there. Okay, so only the interface gets changed, so which is uh, you can always pick up. So another thing that you are going to get is you will get to, we will be explaining you what the concept of web services are. That means what a visual, XMLs, XSDs, we will be teaching you all that. You will be knowing what a service component architecture is. This is a new thing that has been added in the 11 version. Before that, Oracle never used to talk about service component architecture. So we will see why this component has been added and what is the utility and why the Oracle roadmap is now towards SCA. So we will uh, talk on that and you know you will be able to understand it, how SCA is important to it. Uh, you will get the explained, you will be uh, getting the concept of mediators which were previously called uh, ESBs. 
or enterprise service buses. You will be able to orchestrate the services using PPEL which stands for business process execution language. Okay, So we will describe about what a orchestration means, how Beeple helps in orchestration and why Beeple is the core of SOASUIT. We will also talk about the questions when we will see where to use what components, where to use mediators, where to use BPL, where to use other components, that all you will be able to know uh, after completion of this course. Uh, you will be able to administer and monitor the SOA suit. So this administration and monitoring is, the, is from the perspective of the, admin, uh, of the developers or the architects. So sometimes when you go to, you know, to the projects, you need to know the right questions and you need to know how to debug the things so that you can go to admin and say, hey, this is the problem and you know, you have to fix it. So we will be teaching, uh, you will be knowing all that. You will be implementing business rules. Uh, you will be able to implement human tasks. We will be exploring, you will be knowing the concept of Oracle service bus, which is a new component added in the SOA suit and you will be able to know what the business activity monitoring is and how to use it. So after completion of this course, first thing that you will learn, learn is what the SOA actually means. There are so many journal, so many blogs, so many things there, but what SOA means, nobody explains it. Okay, Why I need SOA? So these are the questions that you are going to get answers for. Then where to use what component? You know, there are so, why Oracle has come up with this product line? You know, so, so these answers you should be able to be getting once you have completed the course. So our course curriculum will consist of SOA concepts and Oracle SOA 11G product stack. Uh, we will talk about concepts of web services, WSDLs, XSDs, XSM, XMLs, XSLTs. It's we who will be teaching you. SCA, Beeple, Mediators, Human Task, Business Rules, Oracle Service Bus and Business Activity Monitoring. So these all things we will be teaching you and you will be learning it in two ways. First thing, all the uh, classes have the exercises. Some are like a classwork and some will be given to you as a homework which you need to do. Apart from it, we will be also giving you one end-to-end -end tutorial which is like a case study where we will be implementing all those, all these components that uh, we we are going to study in one in in a, in a one unit so that you know where to use what and how actual project is implemented so that's the actual project and we will be um, working with you to do that so we mostly emphasize and I will be emphasizing that to do the uh, class uh, tutorial with it so that the day we will be ending our class you will be ending the tutorial uh, so what is the content? So first content that we will be uh, teaching is when we start off, so we will be talk about introduction and concepts of SOA. Here we will talk about why SOA has come into picture in, the, in this world today, why it is, has so much emphasis. So we will talk more on that and you know we will see what is the advantages, why organizations are becoming SOA enabled and what the service oriented architecture in real sense means. What is the what is the uh, uh, what is the actual physical thing that makes the SOA? Then uh, this is will be the general concept. Then we will move about the, to the second uh, topic where we will we'll be talk about understanding SOA 11G. Since this training is from the for, uh, cons to, uh, concentrated towards the Oracle suit line of product, so we will talk about what Oracle SOA 11G gives us. So where we will describe of what all components are there in 11G. What is the enterprise manager? So we will be uh, what uh, we will talking about the concepts of web logic server on which the SOA suit is built, and we will give you the introduction of you know Oracle J developer where which you will be using throughout your uh, you know uh, throughout your uh, this course to you know develop the component. It's a uh, it's a GUI that it's a actually a IDE environment that everybody has to have on his computer, and he will be, uh, you know, creating all those uh, codes that we will be helping you to do that on on by his own using J Developer. So now the second question that may arise on the on after understanding what the product line is, 
how you will be doing the exercises. So for this, we will be providing you a virtual machine. So only um, thing that we will ask you is to have a good machine with at least 3 gigs of RAM. Okay, so 2 gigs is minimum, but 3 gigs is I will say the recommended configuration, 3 or 4. So you will be having, a, we will be giving you a virtual uh, box that you will have to install at your end and it will be, a, it has a complete, uh, uh, complete SOA suit. Apart from it, you have to install the JDeveloper. So we will be providing you step by step to do that. So, um, and, uh, and uh, it will not be a problem. So, uh, uh, if there is any problem, I will take care of that. Then we will, uh, uh, going forward, we will talk about what makes a SOA. So here we will talk about the concepts of XML schemas, XSLTs, WSDL document. So like, uh, I, it will be, uh, so on this day we will be talking about what, uh, what XML document looks like, how they are built, how XSD schemas are, what a XSD schemas uh, are actually. You know, even if you don't know this, no need to worry, just come as a blank with the blank mind and to learn and you will be able to learn it. Uh, then we will move to the another component called introduction and concepts of SCA, that is service component architecture. We will, uh, you know, explain what SCA is, why this SCA has been there. You will be creating some services upon the SCA. So after, after from this chapter, you know, it will be, there will always be the exercises associated. So um, from here till the end of the course, every chapter will have exercises and you will have to do some in class and some as your homework. Then we will talk about uh, how to manage and monitor SOA. So here we will talk about deploying, how you can deploy the SOA, SOA composite in the environment, uh, you know, how, how to test it, how to debug it. So we will talk all on 